Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beast here. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, and that is, does Tariq still want to be the number one drug dealer in New York? Um, when it comes down to it, Tariq's goal was to be like his dad. He wanted to take over and become like his dad. Tariq wanted to become a ghost. Now, when it comes down to it, if you guys can remember, in Power Book 1, Tariq kept wanting to be a part of that life, but Ghost and everybody was trying to keep him away from it. Reyna was trying to keep him away from it. Ghost was trying to keep him away from it. Tasha was. It was Kanan who was putting him into that life. However, when it comes down to it, um, reyna has gone. Ghost is gone. Tasha is in witness protection. Tasha tried to feed the monster, but then she couldn't even control the monster because if you guys can remember at the very end of Power Book 1, Tasha saw that Tariq was pretty much his dad and that he was even smarter than her and was moving differently than she was. Um, that's something that we didn't get enough of seeing in Book 2, uh, Season 1, but that's something that was kind of shown. And you're not really seeing it right now because Tariq and Tasha have not really been interacting with one another. But as he is doing what he is doing when Tasha does or becomes comes back into the picture he's not really going to be listening to her like that he loves her but he's not going to listen to her like that so when it comes down to it looking at Tariq does he still want to be the number one drug dealer in New York now Tariq did not really care for his pops but he cares for ghosts he wants to be ghosts he loves everything about ghosts so when it comes down to it this is what he wants to be. But when we saw in Power Book 2 go season 2, he no longer desired it. Even desired to get out of the game. Talking with Mecca saying, give me $2 million, I'll give you back your information. Telling, you know, doing whatever he can to get out of the game quick and get enough money for him and his family. And to take care of himself and his family. And all it would have done was just put him in a position where he would have gotten his father's fortune. Now we're in a situation where, okay, if you guys really look at the trailer, Tariq is about to start a war or he's about to be in a war. And it's like the more he's trying to get closer to his father's money or what his father has left for him, the more happens. So it's like... I'm just looking at it like, bro, it's like you're never going to get that money. Uh, but when it comes down to it, um, Tariq is, is does he still desire to be the number one drug dealer in New York? Or is it a situation where it's like now he's like, dog, I, I, I got to become this dude. I can't. I got no choice now because I'm in this game. I don't want to be in this game no more, but I'm still in this game. Um, when it comes down to it, I want to say that Tariq's desire to be the number one drug dealer in New York is gone. I think the only thing he cares about now is himself and his family or what's left of his family and uniting them. I think he even wants to unite with his Uncle Tommy if he can. And we've often talked about Tariq potentially uniting with Tommy to do some more stuff. But when it comes down to it, I think right now he sees what his dad sees. And I love the way book two goes because book two is about Tariq learning lessons. It's like it's like pretty much the stuff Ghost was telling him in book one. He is learning it, but learning it by experience. And this happens with kids because sometimes you can tell them whatever, but they have to go out there and they got to go through it for them to really learn it. And so basically when it comes down to it with Tariq, does he still desire to be the number one drug dealer in New York? I want to say no, but then again, he might. So we'll just have to sit back and see how everything play out. But I just want to say to all of you that it's your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect. Hold it down and warm. Hey.